What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shane Dude Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Sub Liberty Jump. I want to talk about a situation that's going on in Florida and a brother out of St. Kitts, Nevis. Shout out to you, brother. He sent me this story. And before I kind of get into that, we've been talking with like Brother Aaron Ferris and the Black Male Travels Group. I don't know why the travel community think I don't like them. I love you guys, right? I, I don't have no problem with the passport bros. I, I, I pretty much roast everybody. But um, the reason why we do this show is because a lot of black men are traveling. And in these particular hot spots, you know, like the Dominican Republic um, or Colombia or Miami, there is some situations that can happen to you. Whereas you're being robbed, okay? Now, I know that could happen in anywhere in the world, but, the, you know, what's happening in particular is this kind of sort of drugging, right? And this is what happened to this particular guy. He's out there, you know, he's looking like a baller, all right? He got on jewelry, got on, you know, Adidas and Yeezy and stuff like that. Two women approach him. Now, if you look at the little screen grab right here, these chicks don't even look that good, all right? And... Maybe they must have had a, a lot of booty. But if you look at them, come on, man. They, they, they look like they can play for the Lakers. Ah! Just look at them right here. They look so ugly. They're not even that cute. All right? I can see if they were somebody that was looking, looking like something. But they, had, they approached him, right? So they approached him, Elizabeth Labe and Kimberly and LeBron Martinez. They, they, they approached him. He was a Texas man. And they wanted to basically, you know, ask him you know, if he wants a drink. That should have been stop the show. That should have been like cue number one. Who comes up to you and asks you if you want to buy a drink? You know, most women ain't buying shit. Not like that. You know what I mean? But this guy, you know, he was like, nah, which was right. No, I don't want to drink with you because I don't know y'all. Y'all out here probably thotting it up, right? But no. Then he goes to a nearby park with them. Now, stop the show. Here's what happens a lot. of. I'm pretty sure this could be a brother. A lot of brothers see, you know, you think that you got your shine on or whatever. You think you look so good that some chicks is out the blue just want to just take you to a park and just be with you. Come on now. Like, d d does that make sense? I mean, even with, you know, like Brother Aaron Ferris of Black Male Travel said that. If these chicks come over two or three and you're the only one by yourself, they don't like you that much that they want to have sex with you. That's not what they're doing. They're coming to use your shit. So... You know, basically, they gave him a drink, and he went, blah, 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 blah. He fell asleep, right? <laughs> right? When he, when, he, when he woke up, the girls had stolen his iPhone 12, all his, his Omega watch, right? $10,000 stopped the show. I got to tell you, brothers, man. Stop wearing all this nice stuff. Y'all should see how dusty I be looking. I got these pair of church shoes on. I'll be having a little a, a, a collar shirt. Listen, man, stop, stop trying to look so 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 good for 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 some people. For some, you you make yourself a goddamn target, man. And I'm telling you this because I love I love our men, right? I love black men, but some of y'all, man, and I don't really know if this is black, but I'm looking at the I'm looking at what what this is. Somebody got some Negro in their jeans with this one, all right? Omega watch, iPhone 12, four thousand dollar gold chain, okay. Yeezy sneakers. Okay, this this sounds like one of y'all that's doing good. I can't prove it, but it sounds like one of y'all. I do know black men like Latin women, so it's it's, it's, it's it's easy. I know that y'all like them, right? So he had an Audi Rental, Yeezy sneakers. Check this out. On the last, on listen, in the next 16 hours, they spent over fifteen thousand dollars on this man's credit card. Look at how stop the show. Look at how shasty and dusty uh, these broads are. Okay, this is this is this is rude. They even made Apple Pay and Zelle transactions to their own account. Now stop the show. This is like, they just dumb. They just dumb. Like how do y'all even think that y'all not gonna get caught? They got you on camera doing all the shit, you know, and 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 and, 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 it's, and it's really stupid. Okay, okay. Now, thanks to surveillance footage, police were able to track down the women. 
who were both wearing the same clothes as the night before. I stopped the show. So Dolly was out here musty the whole entire night. Dusty, crusty, breath was thinking. You were so glad because y'all were so broke, okay? Your baby daddy probably don't want to buy you nothing. You, you, you're out there hella dusty. You don't want to work. Listen to what I'm telling you. You're so broke and dusty and sandaled all the way up. You don't want to work, so you don't even change your clothes while you spend the money because you, you ain't never had shit in your life. Okay? During the questioning, LeBron Martinez admitted to drugging the victim, even put Xanax in his drink. I mean, I understand that COVID times are hard. But goddamn, is it that hard? Is it so hard that you can't get your life together? Is it that goddamn hard, boo? It seems like it, don't it? Like, this is what I'm trying to tell you guys out here who are doing your little vacationing. Because I understand that we have a lot of talented, you know, uh, black men out there. And not everybody's suffering during this time. Thank God I'm not one of them. You know what I mean? Um, I was able to do pretty good during the pandemic. Um, not the best in the world, but, you know, I'm doing all right. A lot of brothers I know that's in that's in the you know entrepreneur sector. Um, I see a lot of black men in the tech sector and the trucking sector. Many of you brothers are flourishing. You gotta you gotta you gotta be be mindful that many people are not flourishing. All right, right now I'm on the, I'm in I'm in Uganda, um, and let me tell you when I say this, man, it's a difference being here this time than the time before. And you don't kind of realize that if you're not suffering that much. But with people who are suffering that much, and you can see the desperation during this lockdown and COVID this time, it's real, man. People could really do something to you for almost nothing now. Like, I was talking to this lady. Um, I, I visit her restaurant whenever I come up in, you know, in this little area. And she was telling me, she said that it's gotten so bad that with the motorcycle delivery guys, these dudes are so broke that instead of delivering the food, sometimes they'll eat it. All right, listen to what I'm saying. Sometimes they'll eat it. So instead of delivering the food there, they'll eat it. You know? They'll eat it. And that's the situation. That's what we're dealing with right now. You know? You're dealing with that kind of foolishness. They'll eat it. So if you guys are doing well, you gotta you have to be mindful of your surroundings and understand that everybody ain't doing so well. And you look like a lick. You look like a come up. And people don't look at it as, you know what? Well, he's doing good. Um, um, I'm happy for him. He worked hard for what he got. It don't matter. You know, what people think about is, well, he got it, why not me? And if you want those dudes out there that are just egging for attention, you egging to be seen, egging to be whatever, these chicks are, some of them are going to take advantage of you, man. And they ain't got to be just women. They could be men. You know, you see a lot of people, man, are suffering right now. You go to Columbia, you go to parts of Miami, and thieves hang out where tourists are at. You know? The biggest thieves are where tourists are at. You know? They know you got money. They see you doing good. They're going to approach you. Stay on a low profile, brother. Stay on the low profile, family. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell, check out the first time at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at all-time high. I'm out. <laughs>